Hello and welcome to another Aggies Bears Wines and Spirits review. Tonight reviewing Banks' Mild. You don't see a lot of mild beers these days. And uh, when I went to Marston's Brewery um, a couple of months ago now, picked up the four pack, four for a fiver, so good price. And uh, so I'm get the bloody lid open. And uh, I've already tried it and I know it's decent. But uh, we'll share the review. Although it might take half an hour for the head to go down. Look at the state of that head. Now that's a head. So, it's a 3.5% um, beer. And it does say it's got some writing on the back, but in this light. It's either this light or my eyes have shot it. So, Banks's Mild is a light chestnut coloured beer with a glorious balance of multi biscuity flavours with a subtle hint of bitterness. A subtle but perceptible burnt note, full bodied. It says Banks's delivers a flavour packed, quaffable ale. We shall see. So whilst I'm waiting for the beer to go down, I'm at work today and uh, been working up against, obviously I'm a gardener if you didn't know, and I'm working up against shrubs and the shrubs are wet, obviously it's been raining and it's a bit damp so I'm pruning the shrubs and uh, they like it pruned naturally rather than, you know, that some people are hedge trimmer. <coughs> so prune it naturally and wet through gets back to the mess room for dinner, drives in, uh, looks over, and there's uh, somebody there I've not seen before, some woman. Bloke at work turns around and says, uh, they're cutting us off. Says, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they doing? Cutting us off. Says, yeah, 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 yeah. No, they actually are cutting us off. And they was. C cut off both the electric and gas at work. Not been paid for a year, so. That don't bode well, does it, for a workplace? It, uh, just hope I get paid. Otherwise, that won't be the only thing we're missing. So, whilst I wait for that to go down, I'll drink a bit from the can because I'm not waiting all night for that. Hmm. Got a really nice traditional beer taste to it. Obviously, malty. And I've not seen this for sale anywhere. Some of these beers, um, as I've said before in many reviews, if you see a beer that you, and it's the first time you've seen it, you might as well pick it up because it may be the last time you see it, especially in shops. Um, me this year, I think I'm going to have to start focusing on online retailers um, to get beers that I've not seen before because the supermarkets for me have... Uh, doing less craft beers nowadays, which is sad really, considering the fact that craft beers are at their highest popularity than they've ever been. You know, beers back in the olden days were a good popularity. Beers now, with the sheer amount of different breweries involved, it's at an all-time high. That's why these little micro pubs are doing so well, because the old-fashioned pubs can't, can't compete. Can't compete. If they've got six... six it's all on draft, it's all standard fodder, i.e. Guinness, Carling, Foster's, uh, Stella. Um, and then obviously if it's one brand or another, it'll be Marston's Pedigree or Green King. And so these little micro pubs, you can see what... Oh, something nasty in the sink. Um, you can see why the micro pubs are doing so well. Right, so I already know it's light chestnut in colour. Guessed that one right, didn't I? Um, oh, it's a little white head on it. Malt on the aroma. Pour this last bit in. I prefer to drink it out of a, 
a, a glass. I do not like drinking it out of a can or a bottle. It, uh, you feel like a lager out. But it tastes better out of, out of a glass, which is a bit strange, really, considering it's exactly the same. But so I'm now up to date with my reviews. They're all online. I've updated three already tonight. This one will be going on later, and maybe I might do another sneaky review. But I've got a. I've got to mop all the floors. We've got decking outside. And you know, with this uh, winter we've had, which has been predominantly wet, the, the, the decking itself, and it's north facing, so it means it never dries out. And it's gone green, so there's green on the top. And uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to get the jet wash out and give it an hour with the jet wash just to get rid of it again. Which is a ball though, but the dog's dragging the flipping green into the house. And obviously there's nothing he can do about that, that's just as it is. But it just means I've got a little mopping to do. I've just give it all a good hoover and get on with the mopping. And that's after a day at work, eh? Hey? No, like, no, like keeping yourself busy. And posting news, posting reviews on the Facebook page and trying to catch up on that. I'm about 30 behind there. So like it says, this is, yeah, it's very quaffable. Um, got a nice taste to it. It's middle of the road. It's it's a beer that will please old-fashioned drinkers more so than anybody. Um, and I, I really like it. Sometimes it's nice to step back in time. And you don't see a lot of milds about anywhere. Um, I'm trying to think. Sainsbury's didn't have any. I don't think Saint, I don't think Asda has Tesco's. I don't think they. I think Morrison's is probably the only supermarket who actually sell mild beer. And uh, even though um, fashions change, and we see that all the time now, especially when you go to the, you know, your, your supermarkets, fashions are changing all the time. Beers are coming and going at a rate of knots. And uh, obviously, some don't sell, so they, they have them for a period. And then they get rid, and uh, so to get a traditional beer like this, you know, it's nice. And I totally lost my train of thinking then as I was yakking. I make my teeth as well. Tonight I'm going to limit myself to two beers and two beers only, and uh, hopefully I can get some sleep. I've been waking up in the morning far too crappy feeling and it's food drinking too much, I know that. And uh, trying to limit it down. Whether I'm successful or not, I don't know. I've used this um, CBD oil and I'm not sure if it's, if it's any good or what. First time I, I took some, straight away I could feel it and it was like, whoa. But now, I took some this morning, it didn't seem to have any effect whatsoever. So... I suppose, was it the initial burst? I don't know. You never know with these things, do you? It's like headache tablets. You t you have, you've got an headache, you take the headache tablet, and sometimes you've got to wonder if your own brain, because you took the headache tablet, um, convinces you that the headache was took off by the actual tablet, not by yourself fighting the headache. It does make you wonder. Sometimes, is it all in your brain? I know that, anxiety in that is it all in your brain because you wake up you feel great 10 minutes and all of a sudden you think about something negative which generally happens if you do suffer with anxiety or stress and straight away all that negativity rushes back in it's like yeah he's up let's and it does make you wonder and uh, i'm ready for the spring it's been i mean what are we now Two thirds of the way through January, we've only got February, and then you're into March. We've seen no snow yet, well, we haven't seen Nottingham anyway. Um, and it, it does make you wonder whether climate change is affecting us so rapidly that we're going to go through winter with no snow. Well, certainly in the Midlands anyway, but um, it does make you wonder. And poor buggers in Australia with them fires, wow. Thing is, you're surrounded by water all the way around, aren't you? You know, it does beg the question whether 
the infrastructure to whether it's worth, I know, I know it's a vast country, but if there's a way of pumping the water from the sea somehow and flooding and using that and having, having like a, a, a mega massive sprinkler system set up, you know, some sort of, if it could be done. So light chestnuts in colour. Um, malt on the nose and in the taste. Very traditional tasting beer, very quaffable. Didn't taste as good this time as it did the first time I had it, which is surprising. Uh, it's obviously at room temperature, which makes a difference. 3.5%, it tasted like a 3.5% today. Although I still feel, I still feel like it's got me a bit, which is good, you know, it means that I'm not a true alcoholic. Just nearly alcoholic. Um, but all in all, well worth trying. Um, not quite as good as the. Fr I've had a Freight's uh, Mild and the St. Peter's Mild. The St. Peter's Mild was absolutely outstanding. But all beers, catch you on the right day, any beer can be outstanding. And that's something that's why some, sometimes I like to do re reviews. Just to make sure that on that particular day, it just didn't. It, did it tick all them boxes on that day? Then on another day, it's a bit of an also run. And uh, so it's, it's always worth giving beers another chance in that respect. Um, out of five then. Um, I'm glad I tried it. Won't be buying it again. There's no need to go down this road again. Um, I like the taste. Um, definitely one, if you see it, get it. Own bargains, I think. Sell it. Do they? They sell one of these miles, it might be freight. Um, didn't taste as good this time as I remember it last time, but still very drinkable, goes down well. Out of five, then. 3.9 out of five for me. I mean, it says it's an award winning beer. I mean, it's smooth and full-bodied with a malty, warming and slightly fruity taste. I didn't get the fruit, to be honest. I got the moulds, but I didn't get the fruit. Right. Thanks for watching. See you soon.